Hi everyone, welcome to your monthly reading for April. So we're just gonna be looking into the general energy of what you can expect this month. Hopefully this resonates with you. Keep in mind it is general, so may not resonate with everyone. And as a update or an announcement, I want you all to know that I am going to be doing the 12 zodiac sign readings for the month of April. Only I'm going to be doing love readings, so let me know in the comments below how you feel about that. Um, that's actually why I'm doing this reading first, because I wanted to do a general reading for mo the month of May. For those of you who might not be interested in a love reading type of a thing, but more so wanted just a reading on the month itself. So that's what this reading's for, and... I wanted to do that for all 12 zodiac signs, but if I did, I would be doing both the general reading for the each 12 zodiac signs, and then I'd on top of it do love messages and career messages. It'd basically be three readings inside of one reading, which is part of why my readings end up going for like an hour. So I realized that just recently. So yeah, we are going to be looking into messages that will resonate the most for everyone listening for the month of may so we're going to be looking into the beginning of the month the middle of the month the end of the month yeah as well as what might be challenging about that portion of the month what might be really supporting you or like really good about that energy in the month um, so that's what these three sets of cards on top and bottom are all about. And yeah, please let me know in the comments if Zodiac love readings sound exciting to you all, if you are all okay with me doing that, because I feel like I want to do all 12 Zodiacs for the, for the weekly readings and the monthly readings, but I feel like I could really just... I want to do all of them, like general love and career, but I feel like I can only focus in on one, really. And the one I want to focus in out of all of those would be love readings because, I don't know, I feel most connected to love messages. I feel like that's kind of what I feel best at. I feel like I can do any reading, of course, but yeah, if I had to choose specifically love connections, I always think can be really challenging to navigate and that people love hearing about it and talking about it that I believe it can be a really healing thing it's not always the healthy call for everyone like sometimes you need to stay away from readings and and this and this and that uh, or take your mind off of things but for a lot of people it's very very healing as well so So let's go ahead and look into it. I pulled some clarifiers. So the energy going on at the beginning of the month is the Knight of Swords. Wow, and the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So to me, at the beginning of the month, you are really charging forward. Um, but you're doing this on a personal level. You're being clear with the universe and communicating what you want with the universe. You're being sure not to overshare information because you're like the overall energy is that like you're in a sort of sensitive spot right now where you need to be kind of careful with your planning skills where if you were to kind of overdo it with your energy that it would maybe like shift the timeline in a direction you don't want it to take you know the decisions you make really do matter and you know that so at the beginning of the month you're being very decisive pretty much but you're also in that energy being careful with who you share your information with what you're communicating what you're what message you're putting out there to others um because again, I feel like it's because you don't want um, to reach a bad outcome here. Some of you also, this is about you're communicating towards people 
that actually have something to provide and reciprocate and you're not communicating with somebody where things have ended really poorly or uh, that it's just over. People that you just don't want to talk to or you just don't want to engage your time and energy with or you don't want to share your thoughts or your plans with, you're no longer doing that. So I feel like some of you, this is about that you've cut out some energy from your life. It doesn't have to be so um, cut and dry where it's like you've completely cut people out, but I feel like that's the case for definitely for some of you out there. Others of you, again, it's just, you're just being more careful about who you're willing um, to engage conversation with and for how much information you're willing to share. It's just like recalibrating and being careful with your energy because things are moving fast, but you're taking it slow. And that's what I'm getting is the overall energy at the start of May. And what is challenging about this energy is the Empress card, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. We get a lot of earthy energy here. Of course, we've got some water energy too. And we've got air. So what is making it difficult for this is finding time to take care of your physical health. It's that things are moving really fast with the Knight of Swords and the challenge is that you really are trying to slow down right now because you need to heal. It's like you really just want to focus in on very close connections or your partner. For those of you who are in a relationship with one person or something like that, or you really want one-on-one -on -one time, uh, but you just keep finding yourself busy with groups of people or you're just busy needing to get your day started. It's like you want to meet up with someone, but you've got to get up, you've got to get sh take a shower, you've got to make sure you're feeling good. Or you you got to do that physical therapy or you got to, you know, go on uh, that run or do that workout or run those errands. It's like you've got things to take care of for your health. And it's difficult because you need to take things slow, but you also, in order to take care of yourself, need to get things done. So there's like a challenging energy there. And I feel like when all you really want to do is just kind of spend all your time with a special someone, that's the message out there for some of you. Um, others of you, the challenge here is finding healing when it comes to a relationship, that two of pentacles or two of cups. It can be romantic, it can be within the home, it can be whatever. Um, but relationships in general, balancing that energy out and finding peace with that and knowing that the love is there is a challenge for you at the beginning of the month for some reason. What is helping you at the beginning of the month with this energy? The two of wands making decisions, the, the queen of swords, and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. I think I will take some reversals. I feel like they're meant to help me. So, making decisions off of, it's like something in the recent past has got you thinking. You're thinking about the past right now. Mercury retrograde is coming up, so you might be feeling like reaching out to someone from your past or reconnecting with someone where things didn't go so well in the past. So some of you, this is communication that's happening in the beginning of the month from someone that you haven't heard from in a while or someone that there hasn't been communication from in a while that it, that that really hurt you, that signaled that things are over. Um, that's a message as well that I'm getting with this, with this exact combination of cards. Others of you, it's just that you're choosing to apply the lessons from the past in order to make good decisions that are uh, solid for you moving forward. Applying the lessons you've learned in your life in order to really grow and take care of yourself physically, financially, mentally, your mental health. 
is is huge, you know? And I feel like not worrying so much about your about the past is helping you at the beginning of the month here. It's like you're finding a way to reflect on the past, but not getting dragged down by it. But it, it's almost like there's important messages or keys from the recent past that are going to help propel you forward. Even the Knight of Swords is looking to the past backwards. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles reverse are also looking back to the past. And the Two of Pentacles or Two of Wands upright is also looking back to the past. So there's a lot of going that way of going back to something or someone where things ended really poorly. But the challenge is that there's healing that's taken place between you and that something or that someone and that maybe things are ready or things felt unresolved. So you feel ready to re um, reconnect or revisit something. This can just be mentally as well. You don't necessarily have to be physically going back to someone, but it's like it could be a conversation that was much needed or just some closure that you give by having thoughts that you wanted to share just for the sake of yourself, not for the person, but for you. But with the Two of Cups, I feel like there's a mutual energy there for a lot of you. So moving forward to the middle of the week, we've got the Ace of Swords, a card of clarity, card of knowing what you want to do, card of knowing what is the right path forward, a card of feeling up for the challenge with the Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. So that's not going to be always throughout the middle of the month. I feel like at times you're going to not know exactly what to do because you're going to get overwhelmed with the amount of thoughts you have, with the amount of different directions you could go. There's just so many possibilities. So you might be someone that once the different possibilities start presenting itself to you, you suddenly feel like you don't know which path to take. It's like when there's just one clear path, you're like, perfect, that's easy to follow. But when all these paths open up, which I'm getting is happening for you in the middle of the month, there's this energy of not knowing exactly where you're going to choose to go. You end up kind of feeling stuck or like you freeze up a little bit in terms of like knowing how to process quickly. So... That might be happening in the middle of the month for some of you. And the Eight of Swords is the reminder that even when you think you're stuck, you actually have the power to free yourself from that and to know how to move forward at that time. So you do have what it takes in the middle of the month. Generally, I'd say you're feeling pretty confident about it, but it's like a little rocky as well. So the challenge about all of this is the Ten of Swords reversed, with the Eight of Pentacles, something is definitely not resolved when it comes to something that ended really poorly. Uh, something that ended improperly, it's keeping you stuck. No matter how much you're trying to move forward, it's like there's still something about that, this something that really hurt you or someone that really hurt you uh, or a situation that you're still really hurt from that you still need to work on and you still need to heal through it. Some of you, it's like you got out of a bad place that you're definitely not going back to because it was a bad place, but that now you have a lot to work on when it comes to healing about it or healing through it, talking about it, um, just really working on figuring out how to heal what kind of hurt has happened, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. In order to move towards all of your abundance and success, to really move towards being connected with your loved ones, your community, your soul tribe. For those of you who are just waiting to really find your real family out there in the universe or to get to a place where you can really be together with your family if you've been separated from everyone or from certain people, you know? This Ten of Swords reverse and this Ten of Pentacles upright also as a love message is signaling to me, like again, some of you, there's a maybe certain connections where you're, you feel they belong in your close life, in your world, and you don't know how to work on it if the communication is not both ways. That's a challenge. You don't know what to do about that. 
maybe you don't really want to communicate due to how hurt you are you're not ready maybe you are ready but the other person isn't or unwilling or something there's some challenge about someone needing to put in effort here but it's too painful and that could be just energy that's already happened since this is very much talking about the past there could be some movement forward with that throughout May that's been happening, but you know, you'll just have to see. But the supporting energy is the Page of Pentacles. There's definitely offers for you though, happening in the middle of the May, which explains the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. The King of Pentacles, yeah, an offer that's been growing slowly over time. It's almost like this is something that had been work, there was work being put in all along, but you didn't know. You didn't realize and now it's confusing you because you had moved on or you had um, opened up all sorts of new opportunities for you because you assumed some situation wasn't going to change and and you needed to do that to heal and to let go and to really try and figure your life out and it's like as difficult as that was you sort of managed and all of a sudden, for some of you, it's like suddenly somebody here is ready. And you may be getting communication, you may not be. It really depends on everyone out there. But the last card is the Ace of Wands. There's definitely some sort of opportunity here at, with a new beginning when it comes to working together uh, with someone, whether that be in a relationship or a business or whatever it's just what it means to you pretty much whatever you're hoping for whatever it is that you've been feeling has been growing and that was going to become a real solid offer someday i feel like that's been happening i feel like it's already happened at the beginning of may i feel like those of you listening you kind of feel this energy all at once right now these are just kind of messages for you to know throughout may and to remember that this is all going on to to not lose hope pretty much so the end of may we've got the three of cups celebration fun times ahead the three of swords still hurting though and needing to heal and the four of cups not really feeling like taking up certain offers it's like maybe there's connecting that's going on at the end of the month but it's not really quite you're not ready for it or you're not wanting to really get up and and take some of these offers because you're still hurt so that could be the general energy at the end of may for some of you out there i'm just gonna clarify the ace of cups i feel like it's because your heart is telling you what you want that it's you just there's like love and support all around you, but you're like, thanks, but I need to figure this out on my own. Thanks, but I really need to heal on my own right now. So it's like you've got some support that wants to help you at the end of the month, but it's like you're not really wanting to take them up on that offer. Not because you don't appreciate it, but because your way of moving forward at the end of the month is that you just really feel like you want to work on something on your own. This isn't saying you're like separating or not going to hang out with your friends or whatever, but just that at a time in your life when you really needed others for healing, I feel like some of that's going on at the beginning of May. It's like at the end of the month, it's like you just know that you really need alone time sometimes to heal. Not all of the time, but just a nice balance. So there's a balancing effect going on at the end of the month here. So let's clarify what is making this challenging for you, this energy. The Six of Swords, that you're you're having, you're finding it difficult to move on from something. The Magician um, and the Temperance card. Yeah, you're really finding it difficult to move on and to just manifest healing into your life. It's like no matter how much good stuff happens and has happened throughout May, none of that is going to force you to be healed all of a sudden nothing can rush you or your healing journey even though you want it to kind of be over with you're like i just want to feel better i just want to be healed i don't care like about this this and that i just, are they coming back are they not coming back or like 
am I gonna figure this out? Is my money gonna, situation gonna work out? Like, you're getting to a point at the end of the month where you're like, I just want to feel better. I like don't care what form it looks. I just want things to be better. Um, and this is about your mental, emotional, and physical health. So there's like a vibe there of finding it difficult to be patient with the manifestation process, uh, that things take time. There's wanting things to move forward faster now and not knowing exactly how to go about it. But what is helping you at the end of the month? We've got the four of pentacles holding on to where you're at. Knowing, yeah, when you're like turning down certain offers or you're just feeling like this is not everything that you want, trust that feeling because you're right. That's what I'm getting to tell you. With the seven of cups, this exact combo came out earlier. And the nine of, th these exact three cards had come out at another time. Because honestly, I have tried recording this reading for several times, but it kept going too long. This is the shortest one, so I'm going to try and keep it that way. But anyways, what's helping you is holding on to where you're at right now because there's all these different options and it's almost like at the end of the month, you're being presented an opportunity to pick one option. And the reason you're turning it down is because you want to include every option. You want all to be included. You want love to be all around. Um, and because you feel good, you feel like there's no rush at the same time, which is funny because the challenge is you really want to rush your healing. But in terms of like practicality, you actually are a very patient person. It's like when you're presented a shortcut, you don't take the shortcut. So I think the overall energy in May, at the end of May is you're being presented some sort of shortcuts, but you can tell that they're a shortcut, that they're not really the full picture. So you might take the offers up, but you're not going to dump all your eggs into one basket, so to speak. You're not going to put all of your energy into just that one thing like this is it you're like you're gonna give that energy exchange but you're still going to be waiting and uh open for more energy to come into your life because you know that there's more for you that there's a way that everything could come together and you're seeing it i feel like in the middle of the month the ace of swords you're seeing how you can make all these different paths that you wanted to go down kind of join into one path and that's what I'm getting for you at the end of May. So I hope you all enjoyed this general reading. Um, yeah, that's it. And I'm going to be doing the 12 Zodiac love readings for the month of May. And again, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts, uh, to all of you out there in the comments below for how this reading went for you, as well as if you yourself are interested in love readings specifically for the Zodiac signs. So that's all for now, and I will see you all later. Take care.